Well, when I was a toddler, my mom gave me a film camera. And from then on, I was hooked. Then in high school, I took a darkroom class. And that was really the moment when I knew what I wanted to be for the rest of my life. I wanted to be a photographer. So I went to Gallaudet, where I majored in graphic design and photography. So really, I've been a photographer since I was little. Film versus digital? Oh, definitely film. Yes. And the reason why I say it's important to learn film photography first is that it gives you a better understanding of the challenge of understanding concepts like mirrors and having a solid understanding of how cameras work can really help you be a better digital photographer because digital photography is, I don't want to say easier, but it's more simple. Selecting settings on a digital display makes things, well, it's funny. Calling it simple is really a misnomer because in the true sense of the word, film is actually simpler than digital. With digital, there are so many more button features, um, so many more lens options. So in that sense, film is more simple. But what I mean by simple is that with film, you don't have those precise small details. You just have to do some math with an understanding of parameters like ISO, lighting, speed, and you have to think about that while you're planning your shot. Whereas with digital, you select your settings on a screen, you see them in real-time preview before you shoot. But that's not the case with film. Shooting with film is really about making your best educated guess. So I made this piece within my first year of living in Seattle. That cool background of that print was actually the backyard of a place where I used to live. I really liked the look of it and it put me in the mood for something spooky and artistic. So I came up with the idea of a headless person. And then I also had this neat like pocket watch on a necklace which gave me the idea of playing with the concept of the passing of time. So I thought, okay, why not just give it a try? So using a tripod, I shot myself in the frame. Well, actually it's two photos superimposed with some elements removed. One layer is the background on its own and the other is with me in the frame from which I then removed my head. Then in the place of my head, I added some smoke because it was relevant to everything that was going on in life at the time. And it also depicted the passing of time. So using Photoshop, I added the smoke and some other elements that made the piece look more realistic. And that's how it ended up. It was a really fun process. Okay, this is one of my absolute favorites. When you look at this piece up close, you can see that I'm holding a bag of sugar under my arm while I'm tossing sugar into the cup of coffee. It's called, want some sugar? (laughs) And this is another one of my favorites. In this one, I'm sitting behind a mushroom reading a book, just in my element. This print that I just showed you is cropped, but in the real print, you can see this little ladder in the top corner. Oh yes, you can purchase my artwork. If you go to my website, you'll see that I don't list any prices, but if you happen to like a print, just send me an email. I have information there, so just let me know.